notorious Finnish murderer Radic is arrested and taken into custody by the police. At the same time, Mr. Arola, the famous CEO of Vala Corp, has developed a successful vaccine to be distributed to the people. Protesters, however, are active on the streets, rejecting this new drug and its effects on innocent children in Africa where it is being shipped. Nina, an investigative reporter, questions Mr. Arola about the drug and its supposed effects, but he dismisses the allegations as nothing more than just a city refusing to work with him. Inside his car, however, he curses the journalist and wishes she did not exist to continuously budge into his business. Ramo, a father, is woken up by his daughter and wife. They gift him a bike jacket together with breakfast, and he lovingly kisses his wife and plays with his daughter. Kurika, a subordinate of Vertika, is being interrogated underground for losing $2 million. He is beaten to a pulp by Lataja, Rotika's sidekick, and eventually shot in the leg by Rotika for not being forthcoming with the information on the whereabouts of the money. Rotika leaves the building and commands two of his men to take care of Kurika. Several thugs pack Vala vaccines at a factory and Rotika calls to get a progress report. Soon, the group is attacked by a masked vigilante, and this happens within earshot of Ritika on the phone. He speeds up to get to the factory. The masked man has a sidekick, Marla, who brands the thugs with the name Rendell's initials so he can inspire fear into the thugs. Rendell frees a prostitute named Hiora, and she bumps into Ritika and Lataja outside. The duo arrives on the scene to find six men hanged with Rendell's initials curved on their backs. He mistakenly shoots the pizza man who had arrived to deliver the pizza as ordered. Kirika is recovering at the hospital and Rendell pays him a visit kidnapping him, purposefully saving his life. Flashback to the past when Kirika is at the bank speaking to Ramo, the financial director, about plans for the bank to invest in the new drug Valacorp has developed. Ramo refuses to invest in the drug, and when Kirika leaves the office, he calls Mr. Arola, who deals with Ramo, by getting him fired from his job. A shocked Ramo wonders why he got fired despite having done the right thing, but his boss convinces him he will find something else to do. He goes job hunting, but no one is willing to hire him. He returns home to inform his wife of the bad news before putting his daughter to sleep reading a book. Rotika and Latasha arrive at the hospital where Kirika is recovering, but don't find him. After threatening the nurse and being informed that he has just been wheeled out, he fires at the empty bed angrily. In another place, Rendell crosses Kirika's picture of the thugs he has been hunting and his sidekick Marla just smiles. Iora, the prostitute, informs Nina, the reporter, about her ordeal at the factory where Rendell had intervened and saved her from being gang raped. She tells her there is some important shipment she heard coming from a Vala cargo loading hold. Nina ponders this information after paying her off. Mr. Irola is talking to a mysterious individual via video call while in the swimming pool, and Rotika arrives and informs him of the masked man ruining their operation. It is revealed that Mr. Irola is Rotika's father, and the father castigates his son for his unreliability. Pekka leaves infuriated and behind him, Marsaka and Irola decide to change their approach. Consignment 221 is standing in a van on a certain beach when Rendell arrives to inflict justice. He takes out the men while Marla kills the survivors before blowing up the whole van. Nina watches from a hiding spot and takes photos of Rendell. Rotika gets to the side and curses vehemently. Nina takes his photos too. Rotika decides to catch Rendell and end him for destroying his plans. Ramo is drinking his troubles away at the bar and Kirika approaches him with a job offer that he takes. The next day, he is at Volacorp getting an introductory course from Lataja. Kirika approaches after the speech and takes Ramo to another storeroom with loads of files. He is to save the receipts and bonds and shred the rest of the documents. He begins the daunting work and after a while is very worn out. He passes by a file about consignment 221 and begins reading it. Unknowingly, he does not realize the boss, Ms. Yarola, is looking at him through the camera. He takes the file home. Nina is trying to piece together the link between the Vala Corp and Rendell, and Rendell are out surveying the city with Marla. 
Rendell attacks the third side of the consignment van. After taking out the guards, he finds the van loaded with a camera with Ratika looking on from the other end. It is a trap, and he is surrounded. He runs and hides in the warehouse, taking out the thugs one by one. Two idiot guards, however, reveal knowledge about Ratika, his car, and where he frequents. They are the same individuals who misinterpreted their boss's order and brought Karika to the hospital instead of killing him. Rendell ties him up, but doesn't kill him. Rendell notices the camera and makes a sign for Rotika before going. Rotika heads back to the warehouse and shoots dead the two idiots. He heads to his father and informs him of the bad news. Mr. Irola decides to now enlist some outside help to stop Rendell. He calls for Radic and the warden of the prison Radic is being held just nods to the order. Radic calls his crew members from all over the world, Mike from Austria, Julia from Cuba, Jimmy from Russia, and Stacy from America. On the other hand, Ramo is looking through the Vala files at home and is horrified at the images. He is interrupted by his daughter, whom he puts to sleep first by reading her a bedtime story. Radic and his team arrive, and Rotika pretends to be drunk to lure Rendell to the site. Marlo warns Rendell that it's another trap, but he does not listen to her and instead follows after Rotika. He goes to the factory and is immediately attacked by Julia. He manages to fight her off and defeats each of the members of Radic's gang, with Radic luckily managing to survive. Rendell, however, leaves the site deeply wounded with his life hanging by a thread. Rotika and Lataja raid Ramos' home. They hold his two family members hostage and he quickly releases a file he is holding, knowing it is what they came for. For breaking the agreement, Rotika shoots his wife and daughter dead. Lataja brutalizes his face with a nailed bat. He miraculously survives though and takes up the name Rendell he had picked up from the strewn Vala Corp files on the floor. Rendell, the vigilante hero, gets motivated to continue his fight after remembering his family and picks himself up. Back in his hideout, he cauterizes his wound and prepares for a showdown against Pekka, Irola, Rotika, and his gang. Pekka informs his father of how things have gone sideways with Radic's gang all dead. He finds his father concluding a meeting with a furious, mysterious man. Mr. Irola rages against his son and beats him savagely. Pekka almost shoots his father, but he doesn't have the guts and instead limps outside. Rotika assembles all his men for a showdown with a masked man at the factory. Rendell, too, prepares himself. He goes to see Kurika, who tells him all the evidence they have gathered against Valacorp. He will make sure it is all sent to the right people. Kurika also hands him the $2 million, but Rendell returns it to him with a promise Kurika will leave town and never come to the city again. They part ways. The whole Rotika gang is at the factory waiting for Rendell. Lataja finds Nina hiding in one of the spots taking pictures of them and he drags her to Rotika. Rotika chains her to the front of a lift truck and plans to drill her eyes. Then Rendell begins his attack and they forget all about her. They rush to confront him and he takes them all out one by one. He faces Radic who wants to avenge his fallen crew. When Radic throws him a small pickaxe to use, he uses it to free the chained reporter and then steps on a jack that releases Rotika's car on top of him. He dies without getting to fight his mortal enemy. He now faces Lataja, who is very strong, and he struggles against the man. When he is almost stabbed and killed, Marla takes his place and she dies instead. When he comes to, he realizes that Marla is only a figment of his imagination, but gets a second chance to fight against Lataja. He deals him a mortal blow by hitting him with his nailed bat on the head, and Rotika, shocked, ran away to his father. When he tries to follow Rotika, he is unable to due to the stab wound inflicted on him, but the journalist Nina, who had been watching, rushes to help him and tend to the wounds. Rotika goes to his father and shoots him dead as per the mysterious man's orders. When he goes outside, he meets a beaten up Rendell who had followed him. They begin punching each other on the street, with rain pouring over them. Rotika loses sight of Rendell for a moment when he goes to get his gun, and when he comes to, Rendell breaks his hand by smashing the boot door on them. He kills Rotika by stabbing him with the vials of the dreadful Valacorp vaccines he has been propagating. Before he leaves, 
he makes eye contact with Nina, who had followed him in a van in case he needed help. The film ends with Rendell on top of the city's tallest building, declaring war on all the bad people in his city. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. I'll be back with another interesting movie recap. Until then, take care.